Welcome to Cyber Culture Interface. Today we continue the review of IEC2 Certified in Cybersecurity exam. And we are looking at Domain 4, which is Network Security in today's video. So Domain 4, Network Security has two focus. The first aspect is focusing on computer networking. And it's also focusing on securing the network. So when you are studying for your ISU certified in cybersecurity, these two concepts or these two ideas are one of the things that you should have at the back of your mind that you are trying to understand how computer networking works and how to secure this networking, this computer network. So we have different types of network. This is one of the things that you need to understand in cyber security in domain four of the network security. So we have four major types. We have several types of network, but the four ones I want to highlight for you in this review is uh, LAN, which is the local area network, the wide area net network, which is one, or the WLAN, which is wireless local area network, and the VPN, the virtual private network. There are several other networks but this four, I believe, is what you will likely be coming in contact with in your practice, you know, as a cybersecurity uh, engineer. And also even in studying, these are the most common ones that you'll be getting reference to often. There are other types of network, which is like enterprise private network, personal area network, campus area network, and so many other ones. But those ones are rarely mentioned or you rarely come into contact with them even while in practice. Another thing you need to take note of on this uh, domain for as network devices. Network devices are uh, switches, routers, firewalls, servers, and endpoints. So these network devices are basically things that you also have to come across a lot while studying and even in practice as a cybersecurity engineer. And the switches basically are uh, used for you know sending data or traffic to the right device within your network, within your local network. Routers help you to determine the routes for, for, through which your data will be sent and how to identify other uh, networks within the internet. Then firewalls helps to protect. And servers is where information uh, or data are stored for reference where other devices send requests to, to get their information. Now, uh, endpoints. The endpoints are basically end user devices. So when you hear endpoint, they are talking about things like desktop computer, laptops, tablets, mobile phones, voice over internet uh, pro pro uh, protocol, you know, VoIP devices like uh, your phones that are connecting using the internet for intercom in the office. So these are endpoints. There are so many endpoints, you know, devices. Um, but endpoints are end user devices. And when you are studying have this advice from my mind whenever endpoint is mentioned know that they're talking about end user devices now in is certified in cyber security domain four there are some network terms that you need to take note of there are terms like protocols ports ethernet wi-fi packets ip address mac address you regularly come in contact with this information or with these uh ports or these terms and then you need to understand them. You need to look at the definitions and know how to apply them. For instance, protocols are a set of rules. You know, ports, you need to understand ports. Just like a, in the layman term, a port on, in real life is where, you know, maybe if ships or vessels or aircrafts uh, are being accessed. This is the point of entry into a city. So also in, a, in computing, ports are point of entry of data or traffic into your devices. And then there are protocols that guide how data and traffic are entered into. So if you want to understand uh, more, you can check some other videos I've made that explain protocols and ports. Uh, so we have terms like Ethernet, terms like Wi-Fi, like packets, IP address. These terms are all defined later in the in this video. You can skip to the end of this video to watch uh, the definitions of some of these terms. Now. There are several concepts within the domain four of ISC to certified in cybersecurity uh, exam or this uh, this particular course. So one of the concepts you need to understand and is a fundamental concept is the OSI and TCIP, TCP/IP networking models. So 
OSI is Open System Interconnect and TCP IP is Transmission Control Protocol slash Internet Protocol Networking Model. So this is talking about how computers communicate with each other. This model helps to break down the system of communication between devices within the network. Now, looking at OSI, OSI model has seven layers, while the TCP IP model has four layers. But the both communicate, you know, with the physical and network interface layer, where they take ones and zeros from the physical, you know, devices like a cable. And then when data is moving within this network, within this layer, data moves as what we call packets. Packet is also defined later in the, towards the end of this video. Then we have headers and footers being added and removed accordingly as this data moves from one layer to the la to another within this networking model. So when uh, data or traffic uh, is passing from one layer to the other, headers and footers are added to each of these packets to help identify and to also help each layer to interpret and also process the data that is being uh, sent from one layer to the other. Headers and footers are very important while communicating with the uh, within the networking model. Now let's look at the TCP/IP model, which has four layers. So this uh, a model that was created by the IETF, IETF you know, Institute of Electrical and um, uh, Technology Foundation. Uh, you can check the full mini also to get familiar with it right now. This specifies this uh they specify four layers of functionality within the tcp ip model so it means that the tcp ip model basically runs on four layers as against osi model that runs on seven layers so and these four layers are made up of the link layer which is the physical communication this is where we we're talking about uh cables communicating and you know interface cards then we have the internet layer, which is network to network. It is more logical in the sense that they are talking about identifying different networks within the internet. You know, you can have one wide area network communicating to another. This is the internet layer. Then we have the transport layer. This is layer where connections and connectionless connectionless exchange of data between different hosts happen. And we are talking about uh, UDP and TCP uh communication this is where uh it talks it's been explained within the transport layer so you need to understand the transport layer very well too then we have the application layer and this is where protocols and user application programs make use of network services and this is mostly the part where uh, end users interact with where we are interacting where you are browsing for instance your browser is an application and they function at the application layer and most of the uh, graphical user interface uh, software that we use function at the application layer because uh, it helps to interpret data you know to what end users can understand so and there are also so many protocols within this layer and uh, applications make use of this protocol in order to be able to use the network devices well and another concept you need to take note of it's IPv4 and IPv6. So Internet Protocol version 4 and Internet Protocol version 6. So Internet Protocol version 4 was uh, the original, you know, Internet Protocol that started for addressing devices. We all know there are several thousands or millions of devices that are connected to the Internet and each of them needs to have an address. So the IP version 4 is a way of addressing each of these devices on the network but over time uh standards uh, organizations that are responsible for setting internet standards realize that internet protocol version 4 will not be able to provide enough addresses and also maybe enough security for the kind of devices that were coming out into the internet now nowadays we have iot's we have a lot more devices and then there's a need for more addressing to happen so that's when uh internet protocol version 6 is now uh, brought into play. So Internet Protocol version 6 provides more uh, improved security, they also provide improved quality of service, and then they're able to support more devices. Another concept you need to understand also uh, in domain 4, of which is network security of ICT, so security is securing Wi-Fi. So the concept of securing Wi-Fi with uh, 
protocols or uh, like WPA2, we have PSK and so many other protocols you need to understand uh, how this works. Not necessarily understand the details, but you need to get familiar with this uh, concept of securing Wi-Fi signals. Now, another concept you need to understand in this uh, domain is attacks on a network. So there are different kinds of attacks that happen on the network and you need to get familiar with them. So we have DOS, DDOS attack. This is denial of service attacks. We have fragment attacks, which uh, uh, where data you know, traffic has been, data has been fragmented into pieces that you cannot make use of. We have attacks like oversized packet attacks. We have spoofing attacks. We have man in the middle attacks. We have code injection or SQL in, you know, injection attack. We have cross-site scripting or XSS attack. The privilege escalation attack. And then we have insider threats. These are all uh, explained also later in this video uh, in other terminologies. A good example I want to talk about here is insider threat. Insider threat is when somebody within your organization is posting a threat you know, to your network. Maybe the person is uh, trying to compromise the network from inside. The person has access, so it is an insider threat. And we have man in the middle attack, which is an attack at uh, someone intercepting signal and then pretending to be uh, two different people to, do, to people uh, on two ends of the network. So all these attacks are things you need to get familiar with. Uh, or a concept that you need to understand for ISC2 certified in cybersecurity. So another concept is threats on the network. So here we have threats that are not yet uh, an attack, or these are potential, you know, things that can pose a risk or that poses a risk of causing an arm on your network. So they are threats. They may currently not be attacking your network or they may currently not be arming your devices or your network but they are threats when they reside within your network so a very good example of them is virus a virus can be in your system for months and then you may not notice because you are not seeing the attack so but it, it is a threat it can suddenly become uh something that is attacking your system so we have worms we have trojans we have man in the middle on parts man in the middle we have side channel, we have phishing attack, I mean phishing threats, we have rootkits, we have hardware and spyware and malware. Remember, these are threats, but they are also uh, carrying the potential of becoming an attack at any point in time. So when you have this within your network, that means there's been an intrusion and you need to take care of it as soon as possible. So another